Optrons. Fantastic, wonderful chips. I got a couple of them here. I've got a, I've got an R715 from Dell that has a 6128 or a pair of 6128s, and it will soon have a pair of 6380s, which is a little bit of an upgrade. Now you're all probably wondering where I've been for the last several months, and uh, the reality is, is I've been busy, like really busy. Uh, everything from DreamHack to some other private events and some other smaller events. I was in Miami for an event, was over here for an event, and, and the events I go to, I'm not going to be like, yeah, I'm going to an event, let's hang out. I'm actually there running uh, the network, or I'm running, a, a, I'm consulting for the network. I mean, there's, there's various different things, but it's all uh, me going and actually doing work-related stuff. It's not like I'm just there to goof off and hang out. It's just what I do while I'm there, because I can. Uh, otherwise, uh, I know if you guys follow me on Twitter, uh, at all, you've probably seen my, my my antics regarding my Raspberry Pi and my car. I know a couple weeks back on Twitch, I was in my car trying to pull out the stereo, and I did do that and a few other bits and pieces. And it's all fun and dandy, uh, and it's just it's an overarching overarching. It's a word I keep trying to want to use, but it's not really work. It's a big project that I'm working on, directly related to the fact that my car's amplifier exploded on me a couple of years ago. And I've never really replaced it. And I'm like, okay, well, let's work on that. I've got a couple of amps. As you can see, I got this is an 800 watt amp. That's a 350 watt amp. This is four channel. This is two channel. This one here, if I bridge the connections, I do get a stereo signal into a mono channel, meaning I get you know left and right into a single. If I bridge the 800 here, I get one channel. I only get left, which is kind of annoying. So things to think about when I'm. Uh, I think this was supposed to be a, a reference to what I was connecting my car to. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, things. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff going on. Uh, I've picked up this really cool thing, a map gas. It's going to do something really cool later on. Again, it's just random things I'm working on. Uh, and, and I'm trying to get some of it on footage and some of it on film. It's just really... This takes me out of what I'm doing. And by the time I realize that I'm like, I should have filmed all that. I, I really just need like a, like a reality TV crew to follow me around all the time. That'd be a bad idea. Uh, it'd be funny, but it would be a bad idea. I'd probably end up being very angry all the time. Doesn't matter. Uh, this is Raspberry Pi 3 Model B, version 1.2. Uh, it is currently running Raspbian. I got it up and running over the weekend. It will probably be running my uh, reverse camera, my backup reverse camera. You know, pop in the car into reverse and shows up on the display. Lots of pieces. As you're like, dude, you're all over the place. I know. I've got something. To, I've got a call in 10 minutes, and I gotta, I gotta be on that. So I'm gonna make this video real quick. Uh, this is a seven-inch LCD screen, touchscreen with camera. That's gonna go in the dash. Uh, this right here is probably gonna be the thing that's gonna run most of the car bits. And put a little light on it. Woo, there we go. This is a banana pie. Uh, which, if you've never had a banana pie, it's it tastes like bananas. Uh, this one's really neat. It's got two uh, gigabit network ports here. USB 3, USB 2, uh, USB 3, and Type-C. And over here I've got HDMI in, HDMI out, display port, 12 volt inputs, audio out, power button, reset button, SD card. This is the exact same 40 pin GPIO as a Raspberry Pi. So that's kind of a cool thing. So anything I want to make for that I could implement into this thing. Uh, these are SATA connectors, which is also awesome. These two little things here are microphones, but what really weirds me out is this little connector here is is nothing. And I'm like, well, is that a microphone connector? Because I'll totally put a connector on that and put microphone to it so I can remote the microphone. So as opposed to having a microphone directly on the board, it's not very useful. And I have no idea what that is for. If you saw my tweet the other day, it was just like, these are the connectors. I don't know what they do. There's nothing in the manual that says what they do. We're like this. This is a RGMII. It is a gigabit interface that directly connects to a Mac. It's basically, this is a pinout for what these connect to. It connects between the Mac. Uh, it's either the Mac and the physical or the physical Mac and then the, the, the switch chip here. So I could actually put a, a switch chip uh, like a network switch chip connected to this thing and have a stack more, like four or five more network connections, which who knows what I could use it for, but it's kind of a neat thing. These are M.2s. This is a PCI Express 1.1. This is 2.0. 
these are keyed for E. Uh, this one back here is also kind of empty. This is a B, keyed B. You can look those up in Wikipedia and you get a bunch of information on that. It's just easy to say that than to tell you what it is. But basically the connectors are a little different. This one is designed for a, like a cellular modem. It is wired directly into the SIM chip, which is, that's a SIM chip holder. So I could turn this thing into a phone or a you know a cellular router type thing which is going to be awesome if that's going to be oh damn it that's a bright light if that's going to be in the car uh because then i can have uh anything from data connectivity map navigation the whole nine yards uh this screen i have to figure out what i'm going to place it in it's going to go into a double din it's big enough to fit into a double din in the car and that's going to be pretty awesome so a lot of stuff i'm working on uh I mean, I've got a whole stack of these controllers. Like this is an Edison with the Arduino breakout. Um, this one over here is a Edison without the you know the without the Arduino breakout. It's a lot more concise. It's got pinouts on the back and that kind of thing. Uh, and then I've got a Beagle Bone here. I got Arduinos. I got all sorts of stuff. And I'm I'm hoping that I can figure all of these little pieces out and basically just take the car's can or the uh, you know the the, the CAN bus that is in the car and effectively extend it into the radio, into uh, these pieces of equipment and then, uh, you know, firewall the crap all of it out so nobody can take control of my car remotely. That'd be great and stupid and fun. Uh, and then this thing. This is the kind of the, the internal component to all of this. This is a Makina. It is a OBD2 connector and then it is a kind of a breakout for uh, basically the CAN bus, so you can get all sorts of data out of the CAN in the car, which is awesome. Uh, this little piece on top is their own proprietary, well, I say proprietary, it's open source, but it's their own version of an Arduino breakout with uh, like the, the Zigbee connectors uh, that are go on top, which is kind of neat, but it is not required. Uh, it's got a 20 pin, 26 pin breakout in the back here, and that is really awesome because you can take that and uh, basically it, it ends up acting like a breakout in the same way that this 40 pin GPIO is a breakout for this thing, except this is Arduino stuff. So that's gonna be kind of neat, neat and cool. I'm really excited. And as I said, I was gonna keep this nice and short. And I think that's everything. Uh, I just wanna point out one last thing and this is gonna be kind of cool. And then I'm gonna leave you guys to do your thing because you're totally tied to watching this whole video. And I don't have any control over that. Anyway. This is my new system. It's an 815. I swapped out the old 715 for this one. This uh, an 815. It's got four sockets instead of two. This one has 6380s already in it. His name is Horatio. Uh, and then this one down here is the 715 that I had before. This one's got a, uh, a 6128, I believe, in it, uh, as opposed to the 6120. Uh, it's an older, older, it's a two generations older chip. It's right before Bulldozer came out. Uh, but its socket is compatible with the 6380, so I'm going to upgrade the the 60, whatever chip is in here with the... Uh, I had two 715s. One of them had the 6128. The other one had a, a 6120, I think. And I think this is the one with the 6128. Anyway, it's going to get the 6380s. It's going to be awesome. Uh, they're running VMware in a cluster, and ultimately I'd like to swap out the 715 for an 815, uh, but that's going to be down the road. It'll be kind of awesome. Uh, and hopefully in the next uh, few months, I'll be able to expand the storage cluster from just these 24 drives to all 72 drives. And I'm really excited about that. And I can probably go into much greater detail as to what, where, why, and how. And I got a bunch of other crazy cool stuff coming up with uh, some, some, like I said, busy contracts, events. Uh, I'm going to be going to Berlin in April for an event. It's going to be awesome. Uh, I can't tell you anything more about that. Other than that's where I'm going, y'all can figure it out, and I'll have more details of some of the cool stuff that I'm working on with that project. So, without further ado, my name is Kane. Uh, you find me on Twitter, uh, Instagram, uh, Twitch. Twitch is a good place because sometimes I'll just do these long, you know, 10-hour streams where I'm basically just working on these crazy projects that I'm talking about. Like the Cyberdeck uh, built into the Casio with the Kinesis Advantage 2 keyboard that I'm going to be building into all that. That's its, its own thing. Hopefully that'll all be done by QuakeCon this year. That's the goal. Uh, otherwise, uh, yeah. Be seeing you.